Good afternoon. Welcome to my laboratory. Uh, this is the little magnet spinner that I was inspired to build. Um, it's got, I didn't have any disc or uh, uh, sphere magnets, so I had to use a, a little NDB disc magnet. And as you can see, I mounted it on a very simple axle just by wrapping some copper wire around it and mounting it to a uh, couple of two little aluminum tubes with holes drilled in them. Then there's the two coils. They're connected in series and they're hooked to the function generator output directly. Uh, and the function generator right now is in fact set to produce a sine wave. And uh, I'm starting with it down low. We'll turn up the turn up the volume. You can see there's already some action happening in there. So now Oops, sorry about the light. Let's see here. It's uh, not spinning, it's just vibrating back and forth right now. Okay, so now I'm going to start uh, turning up the frequency. It's spinning now. And that's uh, it's about 40 hertz. That's a thousand or a hundred hertz right there, which would be six thousand RPM. One hundred and fifty hertz. That's one hundred and eighty hertz right there. And as you can see, it's spinning. Let me turn on the stroboscope. So 180 hertz, 180 times 60, I'm doing this on my calculator, 180 hertz should be 10,800 10, RPM. Uh, so let's see what the stroboscope says. over to where it's actually illuminated by the strobe. There we go. Sorry about the light. I've not rehearsed this either. Okay, uh, now I've got the strobe attack going and I'm adjusting the flash rate of the strobe attack until we freeze the motion of the thing, which is right there. Uh, I'm take a reading on the strobe attack, and it says uh, 10,700. A little over 10,700. RPM there. Let me see if I can crank it up a bit more. It usually drops out at around 200 hertz. Yeah, there we go. It dropped out. So let me get back down, catch it, and then bring it up again. This is all with uh, sine wave excitation. There's our... Oops, right there. <laughs> That's about 18... 180 hertz. Let me go ahead and switch to uh, square wave excitation here and uh, roll the frequency back down and let's see what happens with the square wave. That's 180 hertz. Oop, 
just below 200 hertz it dropped out. So I'm going back down and then back up again. That's just under 200 hertz. Now I'm moving the strobe attack. Whoops, it dropped out. As you can see, this is my suspension is not fast. Okay, that's just under 200 hertz, 195 hertz, and the strobe attack is indicating. Oops, I just dropped out. Okay, that's the simplest magnet spinner. Thousand seven hundred RPM.